for the human being. The most important thing for a human being to attain success. The role that is fulfilled by this most important thing. The most important thing to fulfill and to attain success. It is with regards to intention. Intention. Intention is one thing. But solid intention is another thing. And everything is based on the intention for doing something. When somebody intends to do something, he should have solid intention, firm intention, robust intention. Then Allah Ta'ala's help, it comes to that person. And it doesn't matter how many challenges come on the way, tests come on the way, difficulties come on the way, issues arise, obstacles. But the person who's made the intention, the firm target, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivers that person to success. Even in normal everyday situations, this formula is the one that runs. This is the formula that is an operation. And with this formula, people progress in the world, create the ambition, the target, the, the intention. Shaitan always tries to weaken our ambition and our intention. He knows, Shaitan knows that if this mu'min, Muslim, intends to do something, then he will arrive to his destination. So most of all, the, heart, the effort Shaitan makes is that he wants us not to even make the intention to do some good action. If a, if a man intends to do a good action, starts to intend, starts thinking, then straightway immediately shaitan will put cracks into that intention. If you see the Tablighi Jamaat brothers, the brothers who do the work of Tablighi propagation, they say a, a statement that everyone make intention. Every, everybody makes this is a very ignited within. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala automatically has instilled into their dialogue that even the weakest of people who goes, then he starts to intend towards good. The intention, it comes into him, arouses, okay, I should pray salah, I should, I'm going to think about this. These are ways of intending. This is the first baraka blessing of the assembly of the pious people. As soon as you sit in the gathering of a pious person, Allah gives tawfiq that shaitan would locked him up for quite some time, sealed him off. He didn't even allow the good intention to be born in that person's mind or heart. So the benefit of that gathering of the pious people, the friends of Allah, the first baraka is that a person, for example, who doesn't come to the gathering, he never intends, he doesn't want to go. He said, okay, let me go and sit there and see what's happening. When he arrives to that gathering, to that assembly, then Allah Ta'ala, first baraka, blessing that Allah Ta'ala instills in the gathering is that they develop an intention. They start to de develop an intention. And then obviously once the intention is developed, shaitan is weakened. And then that human being, he gets strength. He gets courage, determination. He says, no, no. The first step on that journey is the intention, is the target, is the ambition. Yes, to get to the station of a muttaqi, the basic first step is the firm intention, a name, a plan, the target. That's the first thing that person has to to create and make. So this Ramadan gave us the first lesson, because Ramadan is invited towards becoming a muttaqi, Ramadan is developing taqwa and the fast, the physical fast, the first dawah, the first invitation he gives us after keeping a fast, it is to have the firmness, the good intention, a good aim, a good plan. It gives the invitation towards a good solid plan, a solid intention. If we don't have this, then the fast cannot make us a muttaqi. How? What we need to see is that Allah Ta'ala has put the barakah into the fast as soon as the how does the fast begin with the intention with the niya with the niya the fast now we wake up in the morning pre dawn we keep the fast we start the fast and the first step is to make the intention the plan that i am going to keep the fast tomorrow 
I'm going to observe the fast tomorrow. So you've made the intention. Step number one. Now, with that intention, the firm plan. So the intention is made stronger. It becomes firm. And then there's solidity on your, on your plan. And how much, how much do you see that during the fast? Because the fast is teaching us this to become a muttaqi, to develop taqwa. So this is the first step if you want to become a muttaqi. And how does that intention become stronger and firmer? Is that even if there's a fast 20 or 22 hours, if it's hot climate, hot weather, and he's kept the fast, then with this firm intention, strong intention, that individual, he completes that fast. He succeeds in the fast, doesn't matter how hot it is, it doesn't matter how many difficulties arise, whatever occurs, he says, I'm going to complete this fast. Uh, even if Allah Ta'ala has given a, a, an excuse valid, he doesn't let that come into the equation. He wants to observe that fast. Allah Ta'ala has maybe given a way out, some leeway, flexibility. Even then he doesn't want to take advantage of that. Sometimes people become sick during the fasting day. Somebody's diabetic, somebody's got a severe temperature, or some other issue overtakes a person. And some people are older in their age. And they cannot observe the fast possibly, but they, they, they do it. And if you try to make them break the fast, they will say, no, no, I'm not going to break the fast. Even though there's a valid excuse, a valid permission. But because their conviction and their strength and their intention is strong and firm, so the fast is giving them that teaching, that training. But no, I'm going to complete the day. No matter what, alhamdulillah. And they complete the day. They complete the fast. They don't break the fast. And this is what we call strong intention, strong plan, aim, a strong aim, a strong target. And this is the practice of Ramadan of fast. Even children keep a fast like this. They're children, but their firm plan and intention that from today I'm not going to backbite. Allah Ta'ala states that due to this intention of yours, my help will come, my assistance will come. From such a place I will take you out of difficulty because you have made the intention to leave the sin. Don't fear, because shaitan, he makes us scared of making intention. Yes, just start, start doing the amal from intention. Allah says, I will assist you. And then, then, that the reward for your intention, then you'll become a muttaqi with this intention. Look at the reward, I'll give you such a reward. Subhanallah. تَنَّزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ When in this way, ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُ تَتَنَّزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ Subhanallah. ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُ تَتَنَّزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ Allah Ta'ala says that when you live your life with good intentions, when you will come to me, Allah Ta'ala says, when that you will return to me, subhanallah, then I will show you the fruits of this at that time. What will be the fruits, the rewards? تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ Allah says that same individual, the same individual, person who was afraid of making good intention, and he made intention, and upon making intention, Allah made him steadfast. And after becoming steadfast, then the time for his reward comes. Allah says, when you return to me, when you come back to me, then you will see the reward for this at that time. There will be three parts. First part will be the time of death. When you will see the road, severe time, difficult time, it will be the time when your soul will be removed from your body. The most severe time is mouth at the time of death. The second part, phase will be when you will arrive into your grave, severe time, difficult time, 
very severe time, challenging time after death. A person, if he starts to think about the grave, then he cannot sleep all night long. And the third phase, the third part, will be after coming out of the grave. These are three phases, brothers that are coming, we're sitting, enjoying ourselves, enjoying our lives, running around, no worries, nothing. But these three difficult, severe phases will come. They are promised to us, they will come very soon. They could come today, they could come tomorrow. And we are afraid of death. Oh, Corona, Corona, oh this, he's dying. He's dying. That this uh, plane accident that happened, occurred today in Pakistan. Did they have corona? Tell me. They they were they were they weren't even in the plane. The poor souls they were sleeping in their homes. But Allah Ta'ala's decision, the plane took off, people sat in the plane, it flew and it fell on top of them. Death is like this. Death is like this. There are three times that will come to us, destined for us. What are the three times? The time for death and the, to go into the grave and to wake up from the grave these are three guaranteed phases that will come and brothers more severe than these three phases there cannot be anything more severe than these three times periods that will come to us in our lives after death and Allah Ta'ala has mentioned us about this in the Quran and, and reminded us warned us the Prophet Sallallahu have warned us they haven't warned us about anything more than this the severity of death the challenge in the grave and the challenges on the day of resurrection, how we will wake up from the graves, and that severe scene that will take place, that when people come up from their graves, Allah Ta'ala said, Thumma But due to your, your firm intention, that will benefit you when you're afraid of making an intention. No, no, no. Oh, I'll pray sometime. No, make an intention. I will pray. I will pray. I will leave this sin. I will take this thing out of the house. Expel this thing out of the house. Make intention, firm intention. And then you will become firm and in your practice. Allah Ta'ala said that when, Allah says that when the time for your death will come, when you'll be dying and your soul will be extracted, تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ Subhanallah. At that time Allah Ta'ala says, what will happen? Allah Akbar Allah is greatest. That in front of you, angels will descend, angels will be sent to you, the jama'ah, the group of angels will come to you, you'll be surprised, the angels, angels such, they will come to you to give you ease, comfort, they will comfort you, these angels will give you comfort, and they will give you, um, they will reassure you, they'll say, don't be afraid, don't be scared, there's nothing to be afraid of, why are you afraid now? Allah Ta'ala has removed all of your worries, all of your anxieties, all of your grief, grief not, 